They revolutionized aviation. The world-famous Ant U and the forgotten F-13, the mother of all commercial aeroplanes. In 1919, the first fully metal plane with a striking checker plate established the concept of modern passenger aviation. The F-13 connected people and continents until the 1960s. In 2013, Kalen Aerotechnologies in the Black Forest region of Germany brought the icon of aviation back to life. Aircraft structural engineer Dominique Kalin reconstructed the F-13 using the material which Hugo Junkers used to build his aeroplanes and Paul Morchek used to make his famous groove suitcases. Essentially, it's a basic principle of physics that Mr. Junkers decided to exploit back then, and Dieter Morchek's father did the same. They were smart men, smarter than the rest. F-13 project director Bernd Huckenbeck trawled through archives around the world to research the use of the particularly strong yet very light duraluminum material by aviation pioneer Hugo Junkers. I had the idea for this F-13 project back in 2009. I started my research in 2010 and then it turned into something of an addiction. Of the 330 F-13 models built by Hugo Junkers, there are now just seven remaining in museums, none of which are capable of flying. Functional original parts are also rare. However, there are still original blueprints in existence at the world's largest Hugo Junkers archive at the Deutsches Museum in Munich. The engineers at Aerofem construct a completely new original F-13 using 3D simulations. Kalin's team composed the replica made up of 2,600 individual parts over 10,000 hours of labor. After painting, the F-13 sets off for its home hangar in Dubendorf at Swiss U Air. In the middle of 2015, the finishing work begins, such as adding leather upholstery to the cockpit and cabin. The 450 horsepower Pratt & Whitney engine is installed along with a nameplate reading Annalisa II. The newly built F-13 is then subjected to an array of stress tests, including tests relating to pilot and passenger seat belts, as well as steering and rudder systems. Now we can see if everything holds together. I'm certain that it's going to work. We built it like the original, or even better, so it really should work, but it's exciting. The aircraft structural engineer did his work and is proud of what he achieved. Everything turns out well. Now the electronics and avionics can be put into operation. Historical instruments are combined with cutting-edge technology in the cockpit to guarantee flight safety standards. August 2016, fueling up for the final test program. The engine has started for the first time, getting the F-13 moving for the taxi test. Flight test engineer Oliver Bachmann checks that all the instruments are working properly and how the steering operates. Sensational. It's really exciting. <laughs> Good foundations for the subsequent flight test program. After a construction time of two years and many months of intensive technical work, the Junkers F-13 is finally ready to take off. Almost 100 years after its maiden flight, the mother of all commercial aeroplanes is back in the skies.